Uh, my name is Victor Ringakai, and I'm an alumni of PLP, the Kilifi cohort. And my background actually is in procurement, because that's what I studied, and I did procurement by profession. But I still had interest in computer and learning computer. And so the opportunity arose when my cousin actually sent me a form for Kilifi County. For starters, I didn't, because I didn't have faith in it, but after consideration, I, de I just decided to fill it. And I said, let me just fill it and forget it. Then maybe if I qualify, I'll receive an email and maybe I'll get into the program. When my son had the desire to do the program, and he shared with me, mom, um, I want to do, you know, like software engineering and, you know, like, it was after he had graduated. And when he gave me the total cost, and I asked him 200,000, you know, like, where can I get 200,000 at this time, you know, like? So after some time, you know, he's jobless, he's hustling from left eye center. After a couple of weeks, I received an email that I had gotten into the PLP scholarship and we had to come for the launch in Kilifi County at Puan University. So even when in the launch, I still, uh, I was not yet sold on it. Uh, the reason I didn't believe in it was because I'd already applied for so many things. I apply, they, they don't go through or there's rejection. So at least my, my psych for applying for the program was a little bit low. And also I had applied for my passport then. And it was this time that there were issues with the passports. He had applied for his passport. It had taken almost a year. And he was telling me, mom, now you have to know how my passport, I need my passport. Maybe I can even, you know, like think of going out of the country and do other things. He was a bit hesitant, but once he applied and then they were called for the launch, uh, again, he was a bit, uh, do I come or do I not come? Uh, are you sure we are going to gain anything in this? So I told him, no, uh, just come. Uh, you never know. You have nothing to lose after all. And that same day, you know, like he was feeling that tomorrow, do I really need to go to, you know, become a beer, just go. That is the same day he received that message that the passport is ready. And I told him, yes, I told you, you never know, there might be an exchange program. Knowing that our county, you know, like it's a tourist town, you know, town, Malindi is a tourist town, our governor has been up and about doing things about the county. So, I, you know, I told him, just give it a try. And that is it, that's how he started. So when this um, program uh, came, we said, after all, if we are to pay, then it is a lot of money. This is an opportunity, a scholarship that will not pay anything. In any case, uh, you, be, you might be among the few that may be able to, to, to get into the program. So he came. Once I attended the launch, uh, they explained how the program will be. And from the onboarding stage, I saw that the instructors and all the people who were involved were very engaging. Actually, the communication that you are receiving. So we joined the channels that were offered on Telegram, WhatsApp, and also the emails that you are receiving. So. I really saw that it was actually something serious and people had put a lot of thought into it and partnering with the Cliffy County government also to reach even wider people, I think it was a very good idea. And this is a program that he used to tell us, this is a program you cannot do if you do not have a laptop. You cannot do it on phone, you must have a laptop and you must have data. To access data, to be able to join the classes because they are online and also at that time, uh, only the only they were only offering the evening classes, so I had to find time that in the evening and make sure that I've arrived. At least I'm somewhere where I have a laptop and at least I have data to be able to join the classes because they are happening in the evening. So that was also the challenging part for me. Uh, within a few weeks, we asked him how it was going and he said he is really enjoying it. And uh, he realized that um, actually uh, what the, 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 he'll get what he wants because he's into web development and they're offering that. And uh, since this is something that uh, is offered on a scholarship basis, he'll put his effort into it 
and um, what he needs from us is just the support and everything else so that he's able to attend classes. I got a lot of help from my parents also encouraging me not to give up because they said uh, they will remind me it's just a 16 week program. Just go week by week. Then you'll find yourself that when you focus, by the time you even realize it, you're already done with the program. And that's when, after the, I think, week 10, that's when you are said to, to be told that you should be thinking about your project and how it will assist you and come up with solutions that will be able to assist and grow even yourself or yourself as an engineer as you continue building. I decided to specialize in web development. And for my project on the agri-tech business, I realized that Kenya has come a long way from even the time in primary, we were being taught in uh, history that Kenya is actually a country that relies on agriculture. But as, as the years have gone by, I think we have veered away from agriculture and it was a high time that I, try, I came up with a solution to try and help the farmers to be able to be able to sell their produce because there are a lot of middlemen involved in the after farming. So you'll find farmers have planted their trees and it takes years for you like to plant these trees, to tend to them. But then when it comes to selling them, you will find that the middlemen will come, come with the low ball, the farmers. But then when you go to the retail stores, the supermarkets, you'll find that these things are actually sold at a very expensive uh, prices. Yet the farmers are not getting these profits that these organizations are getting. So I decided to come, uh, come up with a website that will be able to allow access to the farmers to be able to sell it straight to the consumers without involving any middlemen. Uh, as we call them brokers, mm, yes. Uh, this is something that I really uh, would like to thank uh, the county government uh, to partner with PLP because um, uh, this is a program that so many people cannot afford if they were to pay for it. Again, if there's any youthful person out there, any Cliffy County, please take advantage of this. This is one of the few things that will empower you and will build your capacity uh, to, to, to either uh, be an employer or get employed because it is a scholarship. Uh, I want to believe that uh, the second cohort might have even more people by them seeing that there's a class that is graduating. So um, this will be uh, a motivation uh, factor to the rest of the people that uh, want to join the program because at least they know that there's something that can be start started and have uh, the end result by having a class that is graduating. So I would like to thank uh, PLP and county government most sincerely for coming up with uh, such a program. For anyone out there who is trying to get into tech, I uh, really encourage them for this PLP scholarship because it's a scholarship. You should be able to just apply and you'll never know. It might be you there that they are looking for. And for me, I can be a testimony that it has really helped me. It has helped me to network with other tech guys. And it has also improved my skills as for working as a team and be able to build projects that will assist us as a country as a whole. Thank you.